Welcome back to Jesters of Ravenloft, where a group of comedians tried to escape the horrors of the mists. The troop found themselves fighting for their lives against the talisman of ultimate evil. Shadow Nemesis freed himself from a symbiote's charm, and a game of talisman hot potato ensued. Tyler caught it first and immediately died. Del then got a hold of it and started dying too, but New Rogue revivified and stabilized them both. Shadow Nemesis, realizing he truly is evil, found himself able to hold the talisman without taking any harm and declared himself Shadow Nemesis Supreme. Tyler questioned whether Adam was inside him at all anymore, and Shadow Nemesis revealed that Adam was indeed locked away. But is Adam lost forever? I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Hello, friends, and welcome back to Gestures of Ravenloft. We've recorded our first episode. We are now going to record our second. I'll give you a quick recap of what happened in the first episode, in case you weren't here for it. Our heroes had discovered an incredibly evil talisman. They weren't sure what to do with it. It was a battle of wills. The two wolves inside Shadow Nemesis, either to stay charmed and be on Team the Group, or to claim that magic for himself. He stayed charmed, but then escaped the charm due to some other spellcraft that was going on. And while trying to take control of this amulet, Tyler died and was revivified. Del almost died because of the evil of the magic and was saved as well by the powerful healing of their cleric before Shadow Nemesis took up the talisman of ultimate evil, claiming it for himself, declaring himself Shadow Nemesis Supreme while he is using that evil power for his own gain. Nicholas, the, the local bartender who had wanted to come out here, got to have a final discussion somewhere else in the cornfields with the ghost of Angelina, who he had come to see. Dell set that up very nicely, along with leaving a note in case they could affect the next day's cycle somehow to be able to make some changes. Then cycling back, there was a confrontation between the group and Shadow Nemesis, where Tyler wanted to know, finally, was Adam gone? Because if Shadow Nemesis can wear this amulet and it not kill him, it means something bad has happened. And Shadow Nemesis finally told the rest of the group the truth about the heart he has claimed, the heart psychic Adam had lost before Adam was shut away in a memory, and Shadow Nemesis isn't even sure what that means. But the group is now aware of the changes that have been made and the possible consequences that could play out for this entire band. We'll find out what they all say to each other, what they all feel and think about that when we return to this episode. You all find yourselves staring at Shadow Nemesis, who has just told you that Adam is lost somewhere in his own memories, trapped behind a door that Shadow Nemesis can't even find, having had open heart surgery with Crispy Chris, who Dell, I know you would know as Adam's drug dealing compatriot <laughs> through what Adam had told you. Yeah. I don't know. Tyler and Guy, I mean, New Rogue, you wouldn't know this because you can't remember this past. Tyler, I don't know if you've heard the name Crispy Chris before or not. I don't know how much you know about Adam's drug dealing past, but I will leave that up to you. I feel like we probably kept it pretty sketch comedy focused and, and just like, <laughs> and then also just like nerding out about video games and shows we liked. So, so Dell knows you yeah. are hearing the, the name Crispy Chris for the first time. Shadow Nemesis says it with a certain amount of horror, which definitely stands out to you. But you now realize this has happened inside the mind of Shadow Nemesis now, the dominant personality within Adam's body at this time. What are you all feeling? What do you say? What happens? It's, it's, a, it's a double realization for me of like what it has Shadow Nemesis is really telling the truth. But then also I'm like, maybe Adam wasn't okay. Because Crispy Chris was told to me as a guy that Adam knew, and now I'm being told it's a personality in his head? Mm-hmm. Uh, mm, and I'm walking bad. back in with, with Jack Magnum, just to my own. Like, holding like a fucking baby. <laughs> I don't know what any of this means, but I just know we can't trust you, Shadow Nemesis, so whatever is coming out of your mouth even now, I don't know how much whoa, 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 validity whoa. there is to it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I believe him. Hey, you can trust yeah. me, okay? I have the best interest in the group. I mean you no harm. I've said that from the beginning. I don't want to hurt anybody, okay? You're all very important and necessary to me, okay? Why? Well... Well, why, am I, why am I important to you? What about me do you like, Shadow Nemesis? What do, what do I like about you? Why am I important to you? Um, well, what can you say about Tyler, right? Uh, what, what, you, you are a 
uh, great at fighting. You're really great at fighting. Uh, I, that big sword of yours can just like slice someone in half, and that is, is super cool. That's one thing. Um, you are uh, you sometimes when uh, I don't have any, you know, great ideas, which is yeah, very rare. Uh, you come up with uh, ideas that are helpful and uh, to help move us uh, along uh, in our uh, journey. Shadow Nemesis, these all sound like utility reasons for yeah, for Tyler reasons. Being, yeah. Mm. Well, good. Well, what, what do you like? What do you like, New Rogue for? Uncle Juice. Oh, uh, well, I mean, I like his murder hands. Those are super fun. Uh, I also like that he can heal me when I get hurt. And, um, I mean, I suppose the goat's kind of fun, too. Okay, what about the boss? What do you like about Dale? Okay, first of all, I'm the boss, and I have put up with this nonsense long enough. Look at this amulet. This means that I'm in charge of you. That's one of the powers it gives me. Okay, prove it. Okay, um... Do something to me with the amulet if it makes you so supreme. Come on. Come on if you got it. Let's do this thing. Wow, really? We're doing this now. All right. Um, Prove is, your dominance. Is is that the, the well is still nearby, right? The hole into the well? Correct. I'm just going to throw him in the well. All right. Roll <laughs> me. <laughs> All right. So just, just, just I'm watching, gonna... watching you pick him up and throw. I'm like, I'm just saying, like, I thought you liked him. <laughs> I, I'm going to cast guidance on Doctor Deputy. Great. Can I also Dr. cast Deputy. guidance on Doctor Deputy? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Doctor Deputy. As you go in to grab him, uh, he's going to stab you because he had his sword in his hand. Whoa! What? <sighs> So you suffer seven points of piercing damage what? as he stabs you. Says, I'll show you who's the boss. Uh, can you roll me an athletics? I'm going to say at disadvantage because he did manage to stab you. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Why well, don't like this? Okay. <laughs> uh, wow. All right. Um, well, total of five. Yeah, well, he rolled in that one, so a motherfucker's going in the well. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> He's like, you can't do this. I'm, I'm dominant. And then you throw him into the well. Dominant that, you little shit. You will listen to me. That sword did nothing, you hear me? If you disobey me again, you will be demoted. Do you understand he has sunk me? well below the surface. You see <laughs> bubbles, and you're yelling at just water, and uh, then the water goes still. Oh, All right, somebody God, remind me to yell at him again when he surfaces. Uh, can, can he can he swim or breathe underwater? Because I don't recall. Oh, no, no, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> how, uh, how deep is the well? <laughs> oh, it's pretty deep. I tried looking for treasure, but I couldn't see anything. So, how Why, far? Did, it was like it was like fifteen feet. I think we said from we it's doing about, the if, if you're lightning looking at the, the lip of the well. If you're yeah. all looking over, the water is yeah. about fourteen feet down from the lip of the well. I. <sighs> I don't know why I'm about to do this. This fucking child man has like double crossed us. He's a chaos gremlin. I just, but I think I just need a palate cleanser of doing something good. So I'm just going to hop over the lip of the well and um, uh, like pencil dive down what? into the water. What the? And you do that. You find yourself looking at Dr. Deputy, who is holding perfectly still, just shaking a fist upwards <laughs> while sinking down in his armor. I'd, I'd like to grab him and, and swim, us, swim us up to the surface. Can you roll me an athletics with advantage? Okay. Oh, wow. Advantage certainly helped out. Uh, athletics pl is plus two for a total of 21. Ooh, 21. Wow. You pull him right up with you no problem and get you both onto the platform. Not only do you do it, it's easy, and you look cool and do it very smoothly. <laughs> it's like an easy, just like he's up, you're up, you're there, yeah. looking up at Shadow Nemesis. And I, got, I, I got my hex blood, really long black hair, and I come up and it's just like a, a L'Oreal <laughs> shampoo commercial. And that's um, when you all look down and see the mist pulling away from Tyler as he flips his hair. And Tyler is wearing a new earring. 
He has oh a man. golden earring in his in his in his left ear. Yeah. It dangles down with a gold loop with a golden tooth on the end of it. And when you all look at Tyler, somehow he's just just more handsome. You just look at <laughs> he's just more yeah. Tyler. You know, his hair is more lustrous. His eyes just more powerful. Not in the sense that it's changed any part of his appearance because everybody's beautiful in their own way, but just all of his best features are just accentuated. Even as he moves, the water's running down and just catching the light on him. Tyler, and... that was so cool. Oh. What? <laughs> With sounds on the well is <laughs> echoing. <laughs> I, I'm going to yell down the well at Tyler and say, Again, you, you are, you are you're like 10 feet apart. <laughs> I know. I know. I got water in my we ears. Like it, anyway. just, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, then go ahead. I just oh, want yeah. to paint yeah. the literal picture for you. <laughs> Tyler, you look super cool and you're a nice guy and do a good job. And I cast Healing Word on Tyler. <laughs> and it does seven. You get seven more HP. Holy shit. Wow. You had the grace of a of, of a sleek green dolphin. And, you know, that's Tyler, you find yourself almost feeling more like like these compliments. They just make you feel good. I know normal Tyler, they would really just like send you into yeah. a spiral and try to push back. But these are like, this is nice. Oh, OK. You guys have given me a therapy earring. Cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh Okay, no, like that that hits, and I like I don't know that I've got an earring or anything like that, but like yeah, the compliments hit, and I'm like oh, I would say that's okay. if if you want to say you feel a little magical pulse from this okay. earring, and then the compliments hit real nice. <laughs> oh, so it's, it is a thing of like oh wow, hey, maybe I, and then the hand goes up and it's like oh okay, <laughs> just realizing there's more at play. Here that's than an just interesting question. Growth. Can you roll me an insight with disadvantage? Insight with disadvantage. Uh, disadvantage. So that's mm -hmm. going to be the six plus insight. Total of eight. Now that earring, just it's around. You just, these compliments are really nice. Okay. Okay. So then taking it back a beat of just like, oh, wow. Uh, thank, thank you. <laughs> uh, just <laughs> shouting that up. And then to Dr. Deputy, kind of again, back into like, I don't know if it was smart to have saved this dipshit. They're just like, are you okay? <laughs> He's just yeah, coughing gotta, water all over the ground. You got to raise your arm up. It'll help clear the airway if your respiratory system works like a human's. <laughs> he, he raises his arm. <laughs> this stuff's gross. What, water? Yeah. Well, you got, I know you're you're people not supposed drink to drink it. Why it hurts? You, I promise you, you could drown in any liquid. It is, it does not uh. depend on the liquid. It is your lungs aren't supposed to have liquid in them. Okay, did have you, you never been swimming before? What? Have you never no, gone I, swimming before? I don't think so. When I say swimming, do you know what activity I'm talking about? Like how how foreign is this concept to you? Well, I, I mean, I grew up in the squire camps, and then we did what the Black Knight said, and then we had to fight over who was dominant and, and do the stabbing, and then we killed villagers, and then everyone died fighting spiders. That's kind of what I know. You know, <laughs> yeah. and then I just did what you did. Right. And you like that is my main takeaway. Like, that's a good life as far oh, as Oh, yeah, that was great. Right? Did, you, did you save me because now you want to prove that you're dominant over me? No, I don't want that. I just, I don't know, that didn't want did anyone it else because to die. Because the water would hurt, and then it, I keep getting hurt, and then you're like, ha-ha, that's funny. He hates being hurt. Uh, no, not that either. Um, well, then why? Because those are the only two reasons I'm aware of anyone would save me. <laughs> Honestly, man, I don't, I don't know. You're, you know, we're not, huh. we're not super good friends. I just kind of thought that was <laughs> shitty, and I didn't want you to go out like that today. Wait, yeah. you just didn't. You just didn't want me to die? No. I don't want anyone to die. But I don't even owe you anything. You're not even my boss. Why wouldn't no, you just let I me don't... die and be like, that's pretty funny? I don't want to be your boss. And I did have that thought because you have full on betrayed the party before. But I don't know why. I... Oh, you didn't do it. 
Yeah, this is I, look, this, this is doesn't unsettling. have to be a thing. I, I am also just constantly unsettled at all times. So welcome to my world. Um, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> yeah, Dr. Deputy, sometimes a good deed is worth its, you know, weight in gold. You do them just because they're good and you don't get anything back from them. But I... I gotta roll an insight for this guy. <laughs> 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 oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Normally he has some defense for this, but he rolled a nat one on his insight to hang on to his evil beliefs. <gasps> Wait, so if you do good then people save you just cuz if you i'm just going to repeat back what you said if you do good <laughs> then people save you just because i think you the answer is you said a good is... deed feels good i don't say it again juice a good deed is sometimes you know worth its weight in gold sometimes you just do good deeds because you're just doing good deeds it's okay you don't have to get anything back from it with you Okay, Look, I there's two, there's two ways like... I can interpret this. One, I owe you my weight in gold. No, <laughs> okay, that well, then forget no. that part. Oh, yeah. that's the wrong one. Okay, so the other one was that you did a nice thing because it's it's good. Good, I... good, and it feels nice to be good. I <laughs> felt like shit, uh, uh -huh. and uh, saving you helped me feel a little better, I guess. It's kind of selfish, I guess, when I say it that way, but I just, yeah. So what you're saying is doing good in the sense of protecting people who are weaker or shittier than you is a way to make yourself oh. feel less weak or shitty and thus prove how strong you are. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. I, yeah. Yes, I don't know. I don't feel strong. That doesn't feel like that? No. Just, but you are strong and you're handsome. Look at you. What? what I, this, is, this is a good look for you. Oh, thank you. Um, you should get wet more often. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll try to keep that in mind. Um, we should probably get up out of this well, though. This is this is yeah. getting us nowhere. Good idea, I, uh, Tyler. Stop being handsome and just uh, dunk him in the bottom again, and we can uh, continue this conversation when he revives tomorrow. I'm not gonna do that. Oh, come uh, on. He needs to uh, learn a lesson. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> no, no. He needs to learn uh, to listen to me, and he's being a jerk. I I don't want to get in the middle of this. This is not... I, I'm, I'm coming up. <clears throat> and can I, I come uh, too? You no. You can do whatever you want. Well, you have to carry me, or I got to go the long way around. I know I have dark vision, so I know where that ladder <laughs> is. But, like, it's a lot faster if we climb up together. All right, come here. And I'll put him up on my back like like Luke Skywalker and Yoda. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. 100% I went to like yeah. licking Yoda on the back of you. Yeah, yeah. And I'll, I'll try and climb up with him on my back. I He's actually helping you. So between the two oh. of you, you can grip onto the wall, and he's he's an active participating backpack. So you oh. make your way up to the barn. With the right <laughs> active participating backpack. <laughs> 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 and that's after this adorable moment of this team up and climb the doctor deputy is back in the barn Tyler you are back in the barn you stand with your friends and you realize the violence was a distraction it really is a time to continue this conversation with Shadow Nemesis and we'll take a quick commercial break right there <laughs> You've all been confronting Shadow Nemesis. He has unknowingly revealed that his entire attachment to this group appears to be purely transactional. And then when his minion stood up to him, he threw him down the well and was ready for him to drown and then deal with him tomorrow on a new day. Tyler surprisingly rescued the doctor deputy, confused him a little bit about his beliefs, brought it back up. But this is where you find yourself staring at Shadow Nemesis in this barn. Uh, Ty Tyler, um... I mean, obviously, what happened with New Rogue is like, guy is not in there. Totally fine. I'm just, but I mean, yeah. uh, but you and me, like, we're fine. And uh, yeah. Shadow Nemesis, well, like, Shadow Nemesis, you said Crispy Chris is in your head? Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Adam was a big old 
bucket of bananas, if you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, Adam told really me don't. about Crispy Chris. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, I thought did. that he was a friend, <laughs> like, that they hung out sometimes, you know? Oh, yeah, they did. In the theater of the mind, he so, invented I mean, that whole thing. Maybe Adam, maybe it's, like, affecting Adam more because he was, like, not okay before. I, I didn't know that, you know? Mm. Well, sounds like you all should have asked how Adam was. Now who's evil? Boom! <laughs> you don't Adam. assume someone's friends are imaginary when they're an adult. Oh, well, I don't know. Look, that guy was just like going crazy <laughs> waffle stumping his own shit in a tub. So, like, I don't know. Maybe you should have checked in. What? Yeah, yeah. I... Ever been to his place? Bet you haven't. Because his place was literally a dump. <laughs> He said his place was really nice anytime he talked to us about it. Oh, and you confirmed that when you went over, right? Oh, oh wait, you didn't. Dunk. There we go. Uh, I, can we, um, you say Adam's locked up inside of you? Is that it? He's in you somewhere? Uh, yes, he... Uh, like uh, like what, before when I asked or demanded that, that you bring Adam out, that, that's the same thing? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Like, I wasn't lying. Like, he, he, look, listen, this is the truth. He uh, just couldn't cope with being in this world. And so he okay. asked me to take over because this is a, a bit of an evil realm. I guess he thought that I would uh, be able to flourish. And so he simply asked to be taken to a New Year's Eve party. Would you? Uh, can you guys mm-hmm. roll me? an insight based on this shadow nemesis i would accept persuasion or deception i do persuasion i'm not lying like Great. that's yeah 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 18 25 ooh ooh uh 14 i mean it doesn't matter it's 21 but yeah <laughs> 25 takes it what I would say is, of the three of you hearing this, New Rogue, Tyler, I mean, even Dell, yeah, all three of you with the score, this is clearly how Shadow Nemesis understands this situation to be. So it, the, the insight is not, oh, Shadow Nemesis is lying to you. The insight is Shadow Nemesis may not have perfect visibility on how this is working. Dell... I will say with your 25, because that is just like a real high number. And I think there should be a little bonus there. Uh, You know that in previous conversations, you've heard mutterings. There's a chance that Shadow Master trusts you. Mm -hmm. And Shadow Master may actually have a better understanding of this internal system than even Shadow Nemesis has. Mm -hmm. Uh, Have we before been able to hear Shadow Master? You were able to hear Shadow Master, I think, when we through, all touched through touch, and Ezra was able to kind of close that loop. Yeah, that's how I was yeah. able to do that that dumb trick of sending message to uh, to Adam, but <laughs> oh, yeah. impersonating Shadow Master's voice. <laughs> oh yeah. Then uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab Tyler's hand, and then I'm gonna walk up and put my arm on Shadow Nephesis's forearm. Danger sense. <laughs> Are you, are you trying to dodge him. this? Well, I don't know what she's doing. What, what's that? <laughs> Your danger sense does not suggest this is dangerous, but do no. you want to try to dodge her touching you? Maybe I'll just be like, oh, wait, what? what's going on? What are you doing? Just maybe what we can you? all talk together to, with Shadow Master about uh, what's going on in your head. I'm, I'm, look, I'm telling you what's going on in my head, okay? So I don't know what you need him to tell you. I, I just told you. Well, but maybe he knows more about how we can help Adam. Fine. To show that I am a good friend, you can all touch me and talk to my inner person. Okay. That's all I what? wanted to hear. How do I join this? Can, can, can oh. somebody, like, graze my... Yeah, Tyler, touch his cheek? face or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll uh, just... You st- yeah, okay. And All right. Uh, <laughs> I was, I was going to touch somewhere. I, was I crane my neck but... forward, nose first. Yeah, and so it's just a hand <laughs> along his... His face, yeah. <sighs> Cupping <laughs> his jawline. <laughs> and you you all are touching now. Can uh, they zoom sh- into Shadow my Master? mind? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 
Uh, hey, Shadow Master, we're just we're just checking in. Heard you tried to help us by charming Shadow Nemesis. Yeah, he he was gonna get us both killed again, and I don't like that. I don't like I thinking wasn't. of myself as a separate being. Yeah, none of us want to get killed, but we're just we're just checking in. Apparently, Adam, there's some Adam Hart business going on. Do Do you know about that? Yes, yes. I I mean, I have some some information. Uh. Shadow Nemesis told you a, a great version of how uh, he understands things. Uh, uh, how, it's not how we understand. I don't like differences. Uh, okay. Oh, wow. Uh, oh, move on, move on, move on. Come on. Okay, so, yes, uh, there was Adam who came back, and we'd been keeping Adam in a cell at the abandoned Whitby Mental Hospital inside the brain. Mm-hmm. Oh, and then man. we swapped him. We did swapsies, and then, you know, Adam was out, and Shadow Nemesis was in the cell, and then there was conflict between the two of them. Like they couldn't decide between the lying and the truth and all that. So we kind of sat down at a business meeting and talked it out along with Crispy Chris, who, yeah, a bit of a nightmare. I'm not going to lie to you about that. Yeah, let's, let's, but, we don't uh, need to really tell them about Crispy Chris. Let's just, you know, the well, less they know but, about him, the better. But what I would say is, yes, Adam did decide to withdraw because I think a combination of he was very uncomfortable facing the things he had done as yeah. Shadow Nemesis, and when he discovered that Crispy Chris wasn't real and that he had been kind of delusional and arguably psychotic for a considerably longer period of time, then he just felt like he wasn't good at being anything and it was all too much and it made him too sad and too scared, so he wanted to go into a positive memory. And then there was just some, like, you know, missed problems, and so... Adam put his heart into Shadow Nemesis to try to protect all of you, and then Adam was dying, so we put Crispy Chris's maggot-ridden clown heart into Adam and kind of put him into a memory. So I don't really know how Adam's doing, but he liked you all very much. Yeah, I think it's safe to say we should just all say goodbye and, uh, you know, kind of get to know me a little better. Well, I mean, if anything, it seems like Shadow Nemesis is sort of protecting Adam or Adam's goodness. Like if, if he can deal with this necklace and maybe we can find a way to fix Adam long-term. What do you, what do you I think? I mean, it's Tyler? very possible for Adam to come back out. I could do that kind of whatever, you know. Whatever okay, everybody. Uh, can I disengage from the group? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can pull away. It's yeah, whoa, whoa. Hey, there we go. Wow, that sure was not helpful. Anyway, we should uh, head back to town, right, gang? If, uh, if you put on that ring you've got that makes you honest and say that after we're done with all of this, when we get out of here, you're going to you're going to let Adam out, you're going to let Adam come back. Then then we can go to town together. Uh bad news bad, but uh that ring uh fell off and is in the other realm and I don't have it anymore. But you can trust me. I promise that um Adam will be absolutely fine. <laughs> that's not that's not even what he asked at all. Hmm? Oh, I I interpreted uh, it to mean what I said. Uh, That's the problem, though, yeah. Oh, Uh, what do you... Look, hey, look, once we go and destroy Ezra, I'm sure everything will kind of just go back to normal, okay? This is the first time any of the... (laughs) I will flag. I will flag. This is the first time any of the three of you have heard about a plan to destroy Ezra. Oh, wait, whoops. Mm. Uh, I mean, uh, help, Ezra. Why, why did I hear that? Why do you want to destroy Ezra? Oh, come on. I've told this over and over again. Yeah, He's the main him. bad. Ezra. But you like bad, right? Well, I don't like You're bad, wearing the bad necklace. against me. Look, bad against me is worse. Bad against I, I you, how? Have. He brought you here. There wouldn't be Shadow Nemesis without him doing that. Yeah. What, do you, what do you think's going to happen? We're going to free this intergalactic demon thing, and it's just going to la di da send us back to our 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 old world? No, it's going to betray us. It's going to feed off of us, and it's going to wreak havoc throughout the universe. So why are you playing into his hand? Why are we doing this? So we can get close. Clo- he can't get you here. No. Stay here. But we can get here. We have to go, but you have to, you stay here then. As far as I know, you've become the Dark Lord. Your job's done. I don't know if we need you anymore. 
Uh, actually, I think you do, because we travel from realm to realm together. We try to. I didn't come here with you guys. I came here separately. Well, Tyler, can you ask Ezra if it needs to be all four of us or not? Whoa, whoa, hey, yeah. whoa, gang. Whoa, we're, hey, we're wet and change. We, we work together. Well, Adam, Adam is in wet change. change. <laughs> well, I'm going to go wet. make a call. Maybe you can get what you want, and you can be the Dark Lord here forever and ever and ever and rule over everyone that is here and never die. As far as I understand about you, Shadow Nemesis, that sounds great. I'll be right back. Jeez. Oh, <laughs> I'm just going to walk out of the barn uh, and uh, do like the codec call, like just fingers to the, the <laughs> ear and be like, uh, Ezra, can you hear me? Tyler steps away to make a call to find out if the party really needs Shadow Nemesis. We'll take a quick commercial break right there. (laughs) (laughs) From just over your shoulder, Tyler, you hear Dr. Deputy go, Oh, do you want me here for this? Because I'm still doing the backpack thing. (laughs) I'm honestly shocked I didn't register the weight. Um, Yeah, yeah, you're very strong. (laughs) Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Just the, the earring twinkles. Oh wow, thanks. And just like <laughs> I am strong. Uh, put you down. Put put him down and say you 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 do whatever you want to do. Uh, and then I uh, go to make the call. Hello, Tyler. Ezra. Hi. Uh, yes. I have a question for you about okay. how this is all supposed to work. Um, once we've become mm-hmm. the Dark Lord of a realm. That's like, that's it, right? That's a box checked. We don't need, we don't need to be present at the end of all this, do we? Or, or do we? I, I, what is, what is the requirement here for this escape plan? We can get very technical and semantic, but what are you trying to puzzle out? I'm trying to puzzle out if we can be left behind or leave behind some of the some of us who have already been the dark lord of a realm ah so if a member of your band were to become a problem is there a way for us to move forwards yeah yeah or even if i'm you know i'm up to bat on one of these things and i I, you know, I complete the task and then maybe, maybe I'm not strong enough to leave the nightmare because it's mine and I'm trapped and it's, it's tailored perfectly for me. Do they, can they get out without me like that? I need to know that too. Can I be left behind? Can other people be left behind? So two, two different questions then. I need four champions to be able to complete the tasks as listed. You are the logical champions that I have. I have direct communication with you, so you are, yeah. shall we say, somewhat central to my plans because sure. I can talk with you okay. and I can help you in, in the ways that are required. I need four Dark Lords. If you were to find a certain member of your band superfluous or otherwise threatening our plans... We could leave them behind, but without my protection, they would be sucked into their own personal hellscape of a domain and be left trapped forever. You're protecting us. Yes. I I know you move us, but you are, we are shielded while we're in these realms. I am actively counterfeiting. Okay. Each of you in the realms that have been left behind so that the agents right. of the dark powers are not out searching for you. It's why during those transition moments when no one has yet officially taken the throne, when the domain has not been rebuilt, you may have seen them. Menacing, mm-hmm. powerful figures in the mists yeah. that have closed in on all of you and we've had to make decisions quickly. Yeah, yeah. The counterfeits mean there is a space being held there. If I remove the counterfeit, any of you who become a Dark Lord would be inexorably drawn back to that realm because this is a prison and that is the way that it works. Okay. We are cheating. However, I need four Dark Lords. 
I need you as the center of all of this, unless you wish to pass on my gift to someone else for some unknown reason. And we both agreed that that was the best idea. But if you have a compatriot that is going to prevent us from achieving our victory, we could cast them back to their domain, but it would extend your time here. Or if they are an active threat to the band, someone else could kill them the same way that you have killed a Dark Lord, and I could swap that person into their seat. Then you just need a Mistwalker, a fourth Mistwalker, to be able to take the place, to become the fourth, to keep this all moving forwards. Will I know a Mistwalker when I meet them? If they've traveled between domains, they are a Mistwalker. Okay. Okay, thanks. You've given uh, me, us, a, a lot to think about. If you need help sourcing a fourth champion, if something goes wrong, I, 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 I may I be able to assist that. with that as well. Okay. I, okay. Thanks. I gotta go. If you need anything, I am here. Thank you. And I will turn her back into the barn and join the group. I don't know if anything else has happened in that I time. I was going to say, for the rest of the group, knowing yeah. Tyler is outside making this call to Ezra, is there anything the three of you would say to each other in this awkward waiting time? Uh, that was pretty rude of him just to walk away. <laughs> huh? Am I right? You, sorry. You, you, so you did actually always all along want to kill my lord and savior oh. Ezra the Big Easy. Look, you're being manipulated, okay? He's not your friend. He is going to betray us. Like that is a fact. I don't I don't know why I'm the only one that sees this. Maybe oh, because okay. I'm evil, I can see evil things. I don't know, but he's gonna do it. And then when it happens, you're all gonna be like, Oh, what a surprise. But I knew it all along. Okay, okay, let's just say you, Shadow Nemesis, your glass half empty. Uh, New Rogue, your glass half full. This is just a difference in religion. No one can know the truth until it gets proven, okay? And, like, if we, we stay friends, we don't argue about this, okay? He, but he wants to kill time. God. What? <laughs> <laughs> Look, hey, hey, I'm fine to go along with it, this adventure, okay? You're, you're the one saying that you don't want me around here anymore, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm along for the party. Right. Uh, Shadow Nemesis, long term, though, do you want to go back to, you know, Earth and like live on, live like how Adam did? <laughs> what? Yeah, right. No way. No, I'll probably find some like Funzo realm or something and rule like the king that I am. Okay. So, so your goals just generally are different from the rest of us. And you don't want to do the Ezra deal because you don't want to get sent back home. So why would you be mad if he tried to betray us if you don't want that deal anyway? Well, betrayal means he'll kill me. So, look, Why? we can go. Why would he? Because he's evil. Why does betrayal mean kill you? Why didn't betrayal just mean you're trapped here like you want to be? I don't know. It seems like a final boss kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like, how many, <laughs> how many games have you played where it's like, now here's my real form. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And yeah, then well, he'd, well, like, attack us. Well, think about the whole, you know... Dark Lord thing, isn't that like a fate worse than death? Like killing you would be really easy, but stuck in your own nightmare realm forever where you keep dying, come back to life, isn't that worse? So you already have that. That's like baseline. Right. Well, I mean, I wouldn't go back there. That place sucked. I'd find like a better place. Well, I, without Ezra's help, I don't know if you could do that because uh, Ezra I don't, helped I, us escape those places. Okay, look, I haven't thought it through. Okay, okay, I'm just okay. Like, there you go. Just that's go fine. Along. That's fine. The way and that that's works. why I'm saying okay. it's a religious difference. If it has no basis in any fact, it's just a feel, right? Okay, exactly. My okay. religion is so that no more we're going to be betrayed and destroyed. Perfect. And uh, uh, New Rogues is that, uh, I don't know, it's, it's uh, great. So See? Yeah. yeah, New yeah. Rogue, oh. don't worry about what he says about Ezra because your faith in Ezra is stronger than his faith in bad vibes. Yeah. I'm not worried about what he says anymore. I, I really don't, <laughs> like, I'm indifferent to that. It's he wants to kill God. <laughs> 
This is when Tyler comes back with Dr. Deputy shadowing him from about three feet away. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know if he can do that. Um, basically, we're all being protected by Ezra right now. Um, mm. He needs he needs four champions. Mm-hmm. He needs four mist walkers. It can be the four of us, or he can give that protection to someone else. Um, in this example, let's say Shadow Nemesis. You uh, you know you don't want to be one of his champions. You don't want to escape. Um, the protection goes to someone else and you apparently get dragged back to the nightmare that you are the dark Lord of, which is to say the first realm we were dropped into where everybody hates you and a donkey kicks a kind of a mannequin dummy of you in the nuts (laughs) over Mm -hmm. and over again. And nobody thinks you're funny. Right. That's, that's where you live. Okay. So pulled there. All right, so we don't do that. That's I think that's pretty clear with everybody. Okay. That doesn't happen. Yeah. So yeah, don't oh, worry. Ezra will protect us from from that. You just have to toe the line, pal. That's all. Look, okay. I realize I can be a look a little difficult sometimes. It's just because I see you know how things should be, and people don't listen. But bottom line, I'm not Adam. Okay, I won't be. I will never be. I don't think I could even be him if I tried to be. But I mean, to be clear, you you probably could. Like, I'm, I, you're the only one who can hear me I'm right ignoring, now. Again. I'm ignoring him. I'm ignoring <laughs> him. I'm not even I'm not even addressing it. But I am here to help in the grand scheme of things. I won't betray any of your trusts, and I will help you achieve your goals. If you would only give this poor little shadow nemesis just a chance. Oh, you... And black tears start going down my eyes. <laughs> no. This is a rare moment in a Dungeons and Dragons campaign where I'm going to acknowledge this is a fully inter-party conflict. It's not my fight. It's not my decision to make. And I am not going to let die rolls decide this for all of you. Shadow Nemesis makes the plea as described. This conversation is going as it is happening. But there will be no die roll. You believe it or you do not believe it based on the evidence you have seen up to this point. Because whatever solution you come out of here is up to all of you. I just want you to know that. And then I will hand the scene back to you. What do you say, gang? Want to give old Shadow Nemesis a second chance? I do. I do want to give him a chance. Great. I want to give him a chance to take that amulet off his neck and get rid of it. Mm, What else can I do? Because this is very helpful. This amulet is very helpful, and it can help us uh, defeat the Dark Lord. I know that for a fact. Uh, So we should probably... All I know is that it's one of the most dangerous things I've ever seen, and that's saying a lot given the things we've seen around here. Okay. In Ravenloft. Yeah, but now I control it and I can use it to help us. Well, what if you give it to us or put it in one of the bags and then we all agree when you use it? So we could do that as a team. So you can still use it if it's helping, but we we decide when and where so it's not just okay, randomly. Yeah, we employ the buddy system. Okay, yeah. well, counterpoint, uh, what if you all die and I can't get the amulet and then, like, there's some sort of permadeath that happens? What if I keep it because, as we saw, anybody else who touches it, they, like, you know, die? Yeah, why is that? Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm, like, another kind of chosen one kind of thing. I don't know. Like, maybe I didn't we're touch it. chosen ones. We, we know, know from touching it. Just, again, this is just the inside, but I want to make sure you remember, Shadow. It's because we're evil. It's I'm, because I'm we are not our I'm core. <laughs> Shadow I know this. I know this. I'm ignoring him. But Shadow like, Shadow Nemesis, I never touched it though. Uh, oh, yeah. New Rogue, New don't. New Rogue. It yeah, is, hey. All I know, all I know about that thing is it is lethal. I don't understand how he's touching it. It is. Yeah. I, Do you I, want I, me to touch it? No. I don't want anyone to touch it. I don't want Shadow Nemesis to touch it. 
Look, clearly I'm the only one that can touch this thing. Okay, so I'll well, wait, no, I now I'm stuck. I I'm willing to die for touching this thing just to get one over on this guy right now. Yeah, because... New Rogue could use it, maybe. Uh, but no, New Rogue can't use it because uh, it Why? is just atone, uh, to, atoned to me and my uh, energies as a helpful friend. Let me touch it. <laughs> no, I'm gonna touch it. No, don't touch it. Okay, I'm coming to touch it now. I'm Sorry, guys. Wall. I'm gonna Prepare to wall. revive me. Take Here we go. Okay. After him. Run, run, okay. run away. Roll me. No. Del, can you I revive need, him? I cannot. I need <laughs> athletics from Shadow Nemesis and New Rogue. Can I, can I use a danger sense? Because, like, I... I uh, uh, okay, <laughs> if you want, I, I will give you an option. You can roll an athletics, which is to sprint up the wall, and then you will be out of reach. Or you could roll a dexterity save with advantage because of danger sense in which you are dodging aside nimbly, but mm. you are still at floor level with everybody just kind of dip, oh. duck, dodging and diving away. Yeah, no, I should run away. All right, I'll do athletics. Okay. Athletics. Uh, all right, that is a total of 15. I am also 15. <gasps> oh. Who has... The higher strength modifier. My uh, strength is probably him. Mine is uh, plus three for strength. Mine is. Uh, I'm plus two. What? Oh. Whoop, 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 when I run up the wall, that little bit faster. That hair. Oh, New rogue's spectral fingers almost graze. Just almost graze the amulet before you are bam up the wall all right okay look 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 okay listen oh, okay look i'll i want i don't want you to leave me so i'm going to tell you the truth okay i pick up a rock and i throw it at him ah! hold on <laughs> roll me a d20 i'm trying to help <laughs> um that's a 12 Amazing. Oh, we will add your efficiency oh, and your dex modifier. For, for, oh, for, for, uh, okay. For dexterity. Okay, cool. Yep. So your proficiency uh, is, I think, plus three, if I'm correct. Yep. Uh, plus for three, dexterity. Yep. yep. What's your dex, uh, what's your dex modifier? So you're looking and at dexterity. That's plus two. Plus, one. plus yeah, two. Plus so you're two. adding five to that. So it's a 17. What's your AC, Shadow Nemesis? Uh, 16. <laughs> All right. Bam. You get hit with a rock. Can, yeah! you, roll, can you roll me a D4? Mm hmm. Man. Three. Ooh. All right. So it'll be three plus two. So you take five points of damage for getting pegged in the head with a rock. Oh, man. Does that throw him off his, like, just throw him off a little bit? Because I really standing just want to. Standing on a wall is like standing on the ground for him. So you would have to knock him out to knock him off the wall, I mm. think. All or right. do something well, massively damaging. Like he got pegged with that, like, big rock. But this is just, you're you're hitting him with a rock. Okay. I feel Listen. like we did this before. Just stop it. Actually, Listen. I'm trying to explain. I'm trying to explain. Okay, look, I'm telling you Let's the truth here. Let's pause for a second because you are going into a monologue, which is good, but people can do <laughs> actions which are way faster than a monologue. So Dell and Tyler, what are you doing as you see this scene unfolding? Dell, did you specifically say out loud? I feel like we've seen this before. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, if you're looking to Tyler, if you're like saying that to Yeah, I'm just me, standing like, watching this Tyler. happen. If you're saying that to me, yeah, you can kind of, I probably see, I think a little bit of... I'm having the same thought of like, this is, we've already done this. This has mm -hmm. happened before. And like the light, like goes out of my eyes a little bit. <laughs> and I just, I just walk away. It was like the, the, the kids are squabbling and I can't, I am, I, I, I don't, I don't know how much of this, this look conveys anymore. So just like internally at this point, I am just, uh, this is not a group that I am, uh, capable of, leading if that is indeed like the uh the role that i'm supposed to fill is is what i'm basically feeling and thinking to myself it was like i don't i don't have what it takes to unite these people uh and earlier in the last day a bit of this day too uh when this kind of stuff started happening i just kind of checked out and i left conversations i didn't engage in fights with townsfolk i just kind of left so i'm going to go find nicholas church i'm just leaving so dell you watch just the most handsome beautiful time <laughs> turn like and walk out of the barn beautiful eyes 
Yeah. And you look back and see Shadow Nemesis beginning a new rant after New Rogue has thrown a rock at him. These two are clearly ready to have it out. And Dr. Deputy looks up at you and says, I, I know what to do. Boss, what do we do? And you realize the next step is up to you. And that's the end of this episode of Jesters of Rape and Love. Oh, man. That's the end of this episode, listener, but next week you could become a watcher and affect the Jester's adventures by joining our Twitch stream, which happens every Wednesday night. If you join our Twitch chat, you can give the cast magical items, name NPCs, and decide the events that shape Ravenloft. So catch up on the story, follow Dum Dum Dice on Twitch, and join our weekly stream right away. Jesters of Ravenloft features the voices of players Tyler Hewitt, Del Borovic, Guy Bradford, and Adam McNamara, alongside Dungeon Master Ryan LaPlante. This episode was edited and mixed by Laura Hamstra, and Jesters of Ravenloft's artwork was created by Del Borovic at delborovic.com. That's D-E-L-B-O-R-O-V-I-C. Our theme song is Dark Mysterious Halloween Night by Sound Gallery by Dimitri Taras. And our ad breaks use the tracks No Control and Chiefs by Jazzar, J-A-H-Z-Z-A-R, whose music is available at freemusicarchive.org. For all things Dum Dums and Dice, including merchandise and how to join our Patreon, you can visit dumdumdice.com or find us on social media at dumdumdice. That's D-U-M-B, D-U-M-B, D-I-C-E. Now get out of here before the mist gets you too! Dum Dums and Dice has to give a special thank you to the supreme beings of our Patreon at this time. Christopher Little, George Dolby, Gavin and Abby McDonald, Logan, Fire Unfriendly, Grandma Likes D&D, Alan, Stabby Stranger, Glitch Trick, Flynn1138, Alorain Okapi, Schrodinger's Pepper, Madre de Gatos, Lady Maiden, Nithrian, Garbo Ape, Sam Schaefer, Waffle Marine, Dagger Rain, Rob L, Dia De Los Hoodless, Squishy Werewolf, Remy, Funky Head, Accent Therapeutic Services in Florence, Kentucky, Lale, Shulzari, The Long Family, Jordan Oliver, Richard Wright, Brittany Fenwick, Alex Parr, Dragonfly, The Body Barrelers, Megan Werner, A Man Out of Time, Curtis at FingertechRobotics.com, Panda24NN, Shendra D, Your Homeboy Bones, The Gata Family, Ellis Hatch, Odigenous, Beef Not Cheese, Kai Koa, Squire Solaire, Sandy Sassy Pants, Adam, Amira Lockhart, James Molina, and Jill and Noel LaPlante. If you want your name to be added to this list, you can join our Patreon too at patreon.com slash dumdumdice. Thanks to them, and a little bit of thanks to you. <laughs>